Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with a full case break of 2023 Panini Select Baseball 12 box picker team number one. All card ship, brand new release just dropped today. I'm looking for two autographs, two memorabilia per box. On average and hopefully some low numbered cards as well. That'd be pretty awesome. Very big thanks everybody here for making this go on a Wednesday night on new release day, hump day. So if you have Prism 4 next to your name, that means you won those teams in that Prism pack. So thank you very much to everyone who gave that a shot. Alex, you ended up with Last Spot Mojo with the A's, last full spot taken. Thanks everybody for, for helping out. Good late night rally. 12 box break. This break should be about, should take us about an hour. This is the last break of the night, of the Wednesday night. Thanks everybody. We definitely wanted to see this happen just because it's new release day, so. Don't mind staying a little bit later in the evening for a new release, that's for sure. Actually make myself a little room here. All right, so we're looking for uh, zebra prism parallels, hobby exclusive scope prisms, Low numbered cards, big names, big prospects, all that sort of stuff. So, thanks everybody. Sad day for my Dodgers today. Getting swept by the Diamondbacks, the, the better team won. I, uh, I knew that I knew that the pitching, starting pitching was going to be a bit of an issue going into it. But I was surprised at how cold the bats were. Excuse me. Six, only six runs in the three games. That's surprising. The Dodgers went into the, the, uh, the playoffs as one of the better run scoring teams and just didn't happen. Diamondbacks pitching was good. Dodgers bats were cold and that's a that's a bad recipe. I mean at the very least I kind of hope for a more competitive series. Just a little more back and forth on like the leads or something like that. I would have I would have uh, accepted or it would have been tough, but, you know, there was at least an entertaining series. If it went down being like, man, that was one of the best playoff series I've seen, that would have been awesome, but it was short of that as well. All right, our first thing is an autograph, David Ortiz. That's a good way to start things off. And I'll do a hit recap at the end of this as well. Kayshawn with the Red Sox, 21 out of 23, Big Boppy, David Ortiz. We got Jordan Lawler to 75. That's for Michael and the Diamondbacks. And then we've got another auto, Adele Amador for the Rockies. I think one of the Rockies up and coming prospects. Eric M with that one with Colorado, 14 out of 49. So our first two autographs early. That's the scope. Red, white, and blue is not numbered, but all cards shit. And we got a Jason Dominguez. Relic, rookie relic for the Yankees. That's gonna be going out to Matt Smith. Got a nice uh, Yankees pinch sight right there. Excuse me, a little allergies. Kind of flaring up later now. Oh, look at this. A one of one gold vinyl, Joe Tinker. Everyone remembers old Joe Tinker, right? Old, old Joe Tinker. Joe Tinker played for the uh, Chicago Orphans slash Cubs from 02 to 12. Then with the Reds from 2013 or 1913. Then back to Chicago playing with the Shy Feds and Wales between 1914 and 15 and then with the Cubs in 1916 as a player manager. Look at that. That's right, Rex, a Cub. 
two World Series, one in 07 and one in 08. Part of the Cubs Hall of Fame as well. Old Joe Tinker. So that's going to go to Kevin and the Cubs. Kevin won that team in the filler. Kevin, all aboard the Big Hit Express. Old Joe. Old Joe Tinker. If you, uh, back of the baseball card, apply modern metrics to some old time stars and the results don't quite match the reputation. Yet Tinker, who debuted in pro ball in 1900, has stood the test of time as one of the greatest glove men. The shortstop's career defensive war of 34.3 ranks fifth behind only Ozzie Smith, Mark Belanger, Brooks Robinson, and Cal Ripken. Pretty nice. Pretty, pretty nice. Ooh, we get more filler cards. Nice. Restock on those fillers. There's old Joe again right there as well. Now, impress your friends next time you're at the, uh, there's Kevin. Pretty cool, right? Impress your friends at the, uh, at your local watering hole with some Joe Tinker trivia. You'll be like, hey, guess the top five defensive war of all time. People get, people get Brooks Robinson. People get Ozzie Smith, right? Not many people are going to get, get old Joe Tinker. There's Harry Ford, Seattle. That's going to be for Brian. And that's the first box. Good start. Old Joe Tinker. Rex is going to tempt fate by contacting the ghost of Joe Tinker to uh, to sign your baseball card. Interesting. I would not tempt fate like that, nor would I bury a dead body in a cemetery that may bring the people back to life or objects or, or animals back to life. They come back changed, ladies and gentlemen. They turn. You know, they're not the same. Do not reanimate the dead, ladies and gentlemen. It doesn't work out well. Tinker had serious health problems, unfortunately, later in his life. Complications of diabetes, mellitus, and Bright's disease left Tinker near death in 1936 when his physician believed he had 24 hours to live. But he made it to 1944 when he was placed in some sort of oxygen tent. He did return to health and scouted minor league baseball players for the Boston Braves in 1946. Developed an infection related to diabetes in 1947 that required amputation of a toe. Persisted until his left leg above his knee was amputated as well. Tinker died at Orange Memorial Hospital on July 27, 1948. His 68th birthday of complication of diabetes. Buried in Greenwood Cemetery, survived by his four children. Also, on a related note, Tinker Taylor, Soldier Spy, one of my uh, one of my favorite modern spy movies. If you're into that sort of thing, put it on the list. There's Youth Explosion, Jordan Walker, nice Cardinals, Chad. That is 50 out of 99, Chad. He's a pretty nice youngster coming up the ranks, climbing the ladder of stardom. Here's Johan Rojas to 10. Nice low number on that. And we got A.J. smith Shaver going to Dustin and the Atlanta Braves. Rex it has a scenario for us. When you're taking, if you're taking a shower in a cabin, in cabin in the middle of the woods, the power goes out. Would you stay in the cabin and wait it out? Or I walk out half naked into the woods. In my cabin, I would just go and put on clothes that's inside my cabin and then walk out and figure out how to get the power back. I'd finish my shower as well because only power goes, right? Not the water. 
There's Yoshida, spark relic for Red Sox, for the Red Sox, Keishan. So yeah, water's still running, so I'd finish the shower. Um, if it was at night, I guess I would grope around for wherever my clothes were. Figure out that. I can probably put on clothes in the dark. So put on some clothes and then go outside and start figuring out how to get the power back. Come on, Rex. There's Roderick Arias. Not exactly a man versus wild situation you gave us there. There's Canerco to 149. And there's Roderick Arias for the Yankees. The lime green is to 75. And Jason Dominguez. Maybe the next one we'll get, we'll have three pinstripes in there. The first one had one. Second one we got had two, Matt Smith. Maybe the third one we find will have three. All right, next box. Might sound obvious and simple, but watching a horror movie is challenging. Well, what's the horror aspect of it? Now, that'd be different. If, if I knew that there were zombies milling about, you know, I might not, might not, might just stay in the cabin. But otherwise, finish the shower, put on some clothes, and figure out what's going on. Thankfully, horror movies aren't real. So nine times out of 10, there will not be an ax wielding ax murderer outside looking to chop me up into tiny little pieces for his stew. Well, we got a lot of boxes to go, Chad. Hopefully we'll find some more gold vinyl one of ones in here. I wouldn't call it a waste. Not, not in front of the Joe Tinker owner, Kevin M in the chat. Nice Grayson Rodriguez, rookie auto for, for Chad and the Orioles. Twenty-two out of twenty-three. David Ortiz to one forty-nine. And then we've got a Adele Amador, another autograph for the Rocks. That Joe Tinker card was fire. You know what else is fire? This is on fire. Got him. And there's Evan Carter who's been raking with the Rangers here in the playoffs. That's gonna to go to Phil in Texas. Uh, maybe movies are real and we're not what's real. Maybe we're watching, maybe we're watching real life. We are, this is real life. We got Alfonso Soriano for the Yankees. That'll be for Matt Smith, 007 to 149. Do, 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 do. And some more gold. Five out of ten. Gold finger. He's the man, the man with the Midas touch. That goes to Seattle. That's for Brian Crouch. Got a lime green Joey Weimer to 75 for Mark and the Brewers. And we've got Josh Young's brother. Josh has been raking for the Rangers. Jace Young, apparently, I think it's supposed to be better. Uh, 
Detroit, Eric Leal with that one. Or maybe Josh Young's the better one. All right, next box. Joe Tinker, by the way, in December of 1916, became a part owner of the Columbus Senators of the American Association with Thomas E. Wilson serving as the principal owner. The duo paid $65,000 for 75% ownership of the team. What would 65,000 be today in today's money? Must be a lot. Tinker's wife continued to suffer through poor health, so Joe Tinker sold his interest and that Columbus team, after the 20, 1920 season, moved to Orlando. Became the owner-manager of the Orlando Tigers of the Florida State League. The team became known as the Tinker Tigers and won the league's championship. There you go. Oh, no. Sad times. This is rough times. In the 1930s, 1920s, 1930s were rough times, ladies and gentlemen. There's Quinn Priester to one for an end. Tinker's wife committed suicide Christmas Day, 1923, with a revolver during an apparent nervous breakdown. Those were bleak back then. He remarried a few years later to Mary Oss Eddington of Orlando. And then, uh, I don't know what happened to that wife, too, but he married his third wife, Susanna, in 1942. It's Hacked Wilson to 75. And we got a nice Jordan Lawler, piece of his jersey for the Diamondbacks. Michael P. with that one. Just learning a bit about Joe Tinker, Chicago Cub Joe Tinker. And we got Jordan Walker, 33 out of 49, jersey and auto. Nice one, St. Louis. That will be for you, Chad. The Tinker to Evers to Chance, all-time great double play combo. We're going to get to that, David. Apparently, Tinker and Evers had a bit of a falling out. Nice Jackson Merrill rookie jersey and autograph for San Diego. Alan Murdoch with the Padres, one of their top prospects. Tinker ended his involvement in professional baseball, focusing on real estate during the Florida land boom of the 1920s. Eesh. We know how that ended. Probably ended in 1929 during the Great Depression. Uh, returned to baseball, scouted for the Philadelphia A's, did some coaching in the 30s, did all sorts of stuff. During World War II, Tinker worked at the Orlando Air Force Base as a boiler in, uh, inspector. There's old Joe Tinker again. We're, we're talking about old Joe. There's Diego Cartaya from my Dodgers. We pulled a one of one base card of his. Find that Joe. Let's give let's give Joe Tinker his proper due here. There's old Joe. Now the back of the baseball card says that uh, that he Joe Tinker. If you took his defensive WAR, he'd rank fifth behind only Ozzie Smith, Mark Belanger, Brooks Robinson, Cal Ripken. What a list! That 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 went to a bar bet. All right, Harmon Kilbrew goes to uh, Chad B and the Twins. We've got Chad C and Chad B in here, and Hack Wilson. Um, Hack, Wil Hack Wilson Cubs, Rex? Think 
Cubs, right? Yeah, Cubs. I know, sorry, Joe Tinker. All right, according to some tellings, David and everybody else, Tinker and Evers did not speak to one, or one another again following their fight for 33 years until they asked to participate in the radio broadcast of the 1938 World Series. I don't know what was, what was the falling out. Neither Tinker nor Evers knew the other had been invited on, the, on that radio broadcast. But then in 1929, Tinker joined with Evers in signing a 10-week contract to perform a theatrical skit on baseball in different cities in the United States. So I guess they, 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 they were brought together. I mean, what, what was the reason for the argument? No word. Maybe that, that could be... Yeah, as David was mentioning, Tinker was part of a great double play combination with teammates Johnny Evers and Frank Chance that was immortalized as Tinker to Evers to Chance in the poem Baseball Sad Lexicon. However, Evers and Tinker feuded off the field. Well, what, what are the feuds? I don't know what the fight was about. I guess during the, in 1913, Murphy named Evers the new manager of the Cubs for the 1913 season. Tinker did not want to play for Evers and met with Murphy and Evers to discuss his transfer to the Reds. Murphy was unhappy with Tinker's high salary demand, which led him to agree to trade Tinker to the Reds in 1912. There you go. Maybe it was something to do with that. Got Vince Coleman to 149, the speedy Vince Coleman. We got Marcelo Mayer for Boston. That's going to go to Kayshawn and the Red Sox. So there you go. A little, little, uh, little old school ball player knowledge today, ladies and gentlemen. Colorful, colorful history there. Ooh, is that an autograph? It is. Rookie auto Masataka Yoshida. Nice red, white, and blue auto for Kayshawn and the Red Sox. There you go. We got Gavin Williams, 66 out of 75. Cleveland, this is for you. And take it to the house, Brady House. Rookie jersey and autograph for Justin Martin and the Nacionals. So Kevin M with the Cubs who got that uh, Joe Tinker. Impress your friends with that knowledge. I hope that, that lands on a special place in your home's mantle. Grayson Rodriguez, piece of his series, and you can regale your friends and family with stories of, with old stories of, of Joe Tinker. Got some gold, Pete Rose, diamond level. I think that's one of the shorter printed ones. That will go to, this is a large sleeve, a regular sleeve here. And that'll go to Cincinnati. That'll be for Brian Crouch. Got the Reds straight up. Nice low number. No worries, Kevin. You know, you gotta you gotta give these players their due. Too often, we're just like, these guys are just faces on a baseball card, you know what I mean? And if, and if they're not like the young, hot superstars, we're just like, whatever. But we gotta show some respect to the guys that paved the way. 
Rex was asking, do you, oh yeah, this was this was due to Joe Tinker, who whose wife tragically committed first wife committed suicide. Then he had a second wife. No one knows what happened to her. And then had a third wife, married a third wife in the 40s. Do you think if I were married someone for a long time and killed themselves or died a tragic death, could I remarry? I don't know, actually. I've never been married, so I don't know what that would, uh, I don't know what that would feel like. Suppose logic would have to would have to be how guilt ridden I would be. Like, uh, did I convince my spouse to go skydiving, and then my parish and she didn't really want to do it, twisted her arm, like, come on, it'll be fun, and then if if, if she perished in a tragic skydiving accident and I did not then I suppose I'd be guilt-ridden and probably would never marry again. There's Jacob Misorioski. Those are those rare uh, zebra prints right there. That's going to go to Milwaukee. That'll be for Mark. There's Bobby Wood Jr. There's Bobby, Robbie Snelling, that is, to 149 for the Padres. I don't know, ooh, look at these interesting indents in this filler card here. What's that all about? Mysterious. We got some tie-dye, 13 out of 25, Emmanuel Rodriguez. It's uh, one of the more popular or recognizable features from Select, one of my favorite types of parallels. Let's leave them top load this up. Twins, Chad B. We got, we got James Wood. Ooh, piece of candy. Uh-oh. TNT has gone from the hockey post-game show to a, some sort of Disney picture. What are we watching here? Looks dark. This looks like one of the... This looks scary. Holiday, 20 out of 23. Nice Jackson Holiday. Three color patch and autograph. One of the, uh, the top prospects in Major League Baseball. Chad Cromwell. Chad C. With that one. Very nice. Matt Holiday's kid. If you did not know already. I'm sure you did. Very nice. We got Carlos Baerga to 149. Carlos Baerga, what a great mustache for Carlos Baerga. And we got a George Valera to 49. That is a jersey and autograph. Rookie jersey and auto. Zachary with the Guardians. Cleveland, this is for you. Oh, this is Pirates of the Caribbean, Dead Men Tell No Tales. I don't think I've ever, I think I've ever seen that one. All right, we are halfway through this break. Was I right about my hour prediction? I think it is, 29 minutes, halfway through. I pick up the pace a little bit. I did, did spend a few minutes on uh, Joe Tinker, but I thought it was important. So about another 25, 30 minutes to go. I think this select this year's select could be the last. Yes, so start buying your spots, Rex. Absolutely. This is it. So you better buy you better buy your Cubs and all the breaks, Rex. Right now. Let's sell some out.
don't know if you've ever seen this Pirates. Um, in all seriousness, though, I don't think... I don't think there's been any, you know, exiting of licensing agreements early for baseball. So I think baseball will operate as normal for Panini until it just naturally... Until that licensing agreement naturally runs out. Whoa. Where in California? I'll be sick to my stomach if it's somewhere near me. Because I, I did not get a ticket. There's Buster Posey for the Giants and Bob Feller. This feller going to Zachary in Cleveland. Sparks Relic to 35. And oh, there's Big Poppy. Wow, that's kind of a cool looking car. I don't know if that is a, I'm not sure if that's a short print or not, but I'll sleeve it up. This looks like a cool, uh, cool one here for Kayshawn. There's Sal Freelix, Sparks Relic for the Brew Crew. It'll be for Mark. It's always California. California does have the most people in the United States. I suppose it's not too surprising that uh, that someone in California would win it. Just odds wise. <laughs> Lisa Marie on Twitter, always California and Florida. I get so tired of this ass on Twitter. Such BS as Anna, why is it always California? <laughs> Rubes? Like, those are the two biggest states. Of course that's gonna happen. It just says sold in California, but it doesn't say the city. I guess, uh... It was sold in Kern County, is according to one report, which is in the, which is just about, would nowhere close to where I would be buying a ticket. So I don't feel, I don't feel uh, sick to my stomach. There's, if it was like, <laughs> the lottery ticket was sold at the 7-Eleven in Hermosa Beach, just north of Jaspies, near the McDonald's, then I'd be sick to my stomach. Although I've publicly stated, and I'll say it again, I don't want to win the jackpot. Like, I just want to match like five numbers and win a million dollars or something like that. Christian Vaccaro to 25. And a redemption, it's gonna be Francisco Alvarez, nice. Youth Explosion Signatures Tricolor Prisms. Brandon Jensen with the New York Mets. There you go, Brandon. Wasn't he in the chat earlier? Maybe he wasn't. Maybe I was thinking of someone else, but anyway. Nice one for the Mets. Definitely part of their youth movement there. Why, why, why what, Chad? Sorry, maybe I missed a question there. And the act, Dennis Eckersley. Select company autograph going to Alexander and the A's. That's, last, that's a Last Bot Mojo team, by the way. So Last Bot Mojo strikes again. and irons are oh no they're not pirates they're the actual uh the british
Oh, why would I just want a million? When Jack, you know, Jaspi's customers with the other, help him out with the other billion. I just feel like there's a lot of responsibility winning the jackpot. I feel like I don't need that much money. You know, I gotta find like tax attorneys and lawyers and figure out how to put that into a trust or an LLC or something like that. A lot of that kind of stuff. You know, and people coming out of the woodwork asking you for money, buy me breaks, buy me a case of flawless, get harassed all the time. You know, with a million dollars, I mean, after taxes, I'm probably only getting like $600,000. I'm fine with that. Out of 49, Yoshida. And there's a Tamar Johnson, one of the Pirates up and coming prospects there. That's going to go to Jonathan. Rafael Palmero to 25. And there's Brandon Fat, jersey and autograph. Beating my Dodgers today, Michael P with the Diamondbacks. Oh, you would go annuity, huh? Uh, I guess the annuity would would help you manage money better. I heard that as an argument. But I think sometimes that, I, that this is a part I don't know very well, but I think the downfall of the annuity is that if you were if you die or murdered, then uh, it's harder to move that around to 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 will that to somebody I think there's some complications there JT Ginn to 149 I feel like there's some uh, some complication there and there's Ricky Tiedman youth explosion autograph for the Blue Jays that's going to be for Chad Cromwell Right, yeah. I wouldn't know how to manage that kind of, that jackpots type of money. And California is a state, I think like most states, I think California is a state where you have to publicly declare, like it's not like I can just secretly get a giant check, get a direct deposit to my bank account, you know, and then be like, you know, live my life in secret. I think you have to publicly declare yourself the win. It has to be publicly announced in California. I think most states are like that. But I think if you just win a million dollars, I think you should be able to not have to publicly, you know, you don't have to take a picture with a giant check with state lotto officials, you know? Vince Coleman to 149. Got Bobby Wood Jr., tricolor. <laughs> yeah, Rex, you'd be the first one to ask for free breaks from me if I won a billion dollars. Jersey and autograph, Harry Ford.
Nice Brian Crouch. Look, he looked pretty good in uh, the World Baseball Classic for uh, Great Britain earlier this year. It seemed like a lifetime ago. Noma, nice. No more Garcia Parra Red Sox edition. That's gonna go to Kayshawn, got the Ortiz earlier. And now the No More Select Company autograph. Oh, you wouldn't ask, you just expect me to, I see. Reggie Crawford to 149. No, I definitely, I definitely would not, Rex. There's Bob Feller. Cleveland, this is for you, Zachary, that one. And there's a Junior Camonero, rookie relic for Tampa Bay. Alexander with the Rays. And we're down to the final three boxes, boys and girls. Need some more 100 top loaders here. Yeah, and like I said, since California makes you declare it publicly, I, I couldn't really hide. You would know. <laughs> you would know. If the winning lottery ticket sells in this city of Los Angeles, especially on West Los Angeles or the South Bay, then you know that it's a good chance that it's me. Yeah, yeah, that, that's right, Chad. Yeah, I'm not sure how that would work either. You, so if I were to die an untimely death with my billion dollars, right, how does that work? You have to cash out, do I have to cash it all out? and then pay the estate tax, which would also require the regular tax to whoever I gave it to, my parents or my sister or whatever, cousins, you know, like. So, don't know. Yeah, I, th I feel like it is a little dangerous, Rex, but. I don't know. I think the reason is for transparency purposes, because I don't think, you know, because otherwise it could really be rigged. <laughs> you know, otherwise it's like, hey, some anonymous person won a billion dollars. People already think it's rigged because it only happens in the winners come from the most populous states. Ken Griffey Jr. to 149. We got Jake Bennett to 10 for the Nationals. Nice low number there. And a Jace Young jersey and autograph. Rookie jersey and auto. For the Tigres, that's gonna be for Eric Leal and the Tigers. Tiger uppercut. And Jim Rice. Now Kayshawn uh, racking up the old school Red Sox. Oh, it was pre tax at Fine Valley Attacks and the better tags. Maybe move states after you win or set up the annuity. And the, I mean, I see all this sort of stuff, Chad. I don't want to deal with that. You know, just give me, uh, here's a Jack Holiday for you, Chad. Just give me like, a, you know, give me the million dollar winning. You know, which, which after taxes wouldn't even be enough to buy a house in California, but you get about halfway there ish. Maybe not in LA. There's Junior Caminero again, another relic for Alexander and the Rays. Two more boxes to go. Whoa. Two 
two boxes go. Is that a one of one? That's a one of one. Gold vinyl Joe Tinker. Remember Joe Tinker for the I Cubs? Do. I do. I remember watching him play. Yeah, yeah. That's when you would go to uh, Wrigley Field and you would climb a tree and just kind of like look over and try to watch over the before they built all those grandstands and put in those goddamn lights at Wrigley Field. Um, unbelievable. Did I see one of the newest Mandela effects? Ed McMahon never worked for Publishers Clearinghouse. He worked for a different one that gave away money. Huh. I don't know if... I never thought that he worked for... Who did he... Well, who did he work for then? If it wasn't Publishers Clearinghouse. There's Mike Mussina, Moose to 75. Yankees edition going to Matt Smith. We got Dick Williams to 149. That Dick is gonna go to Alexander and the A's and Cam Collier for the Reds. One of their up and coming, hopefully, stars. Brian Crouch, Reds. Oh, his American Family. There's Andrew Jones, Jersey and Auto, Braves edition, the one we want to remember. Not the, not the Fat Dodgers edition. Dustin with the Atlanta Braves. There's Craig Biggio to 25, tie-dye, for the Strohs. Did Astros ever bring these colors back? Maybe it's on their City Connect jerseys. Classic Astros colors. Ooh, nice Kevin Parada. For the Mets, big three color patch, thick card stock, going to Brandon and the Mets, one out of 10, the first one ever made. And we got Eddie Ro Andy Rodriguez for Pittsburgh, that will be for the Pirates, that's gonna go to Jonathan. And final box coming up. Right at the 49.30 mark. 49 minute, 30 second mark, so yeah, that's not bad. Thank you, Chad, I appreciate you. Yeah, I know there's a lot of people up and awake, lurking and listening and hanging out. We appreciate that. Enjoy the tax stuff, I guess. Chad's a CPA, that's his calling. You know, the other Chad is also in that world. Chad Cromwell, you ever see Chad Daw? in the chat. He's in the Pacific Northwest. He does a, I think he is a CPA. And is he, he is in that world. Seattle area, I want to say. I think you're in the Pacific, yeah, actually. Chad Cromwell's in Oregon, that's right. Yeah, Chad Da, Seattle.
We're, 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 the, we're the most popular breakers. Eric's still out there, two in the morning. We're the most popular breakers amongst CPAs in the Pacific Northwest. That's, that's a fact, ladies and gentlemen. You can take that to the bank. Frank Thomas to 75, Lime for the White Sox, Lime Green, Steve Becker. And we got an Elijah Green. Cracked ice, three color patch and autograph, rookie patch auto for Justin and the Nationals. Two out of three CPAs agree, two out of three CPAs in the Pacific Northwest agree that Jaspies is the best place to do group breaks. You trust them with your money, trust us with your breaks. There's Noah Schultz to 149. That could be a commercial right there. Andrew Jones to 49. Another Andrew Jones for Dustin and the Braves. Nice. There we go. There's a Sugano to 149. That's going to have to be randomized, actually. That's, that's for the Japanese team. The Yuri Murray Giants, I think? We got Ken Griffey Jr., Sparks Relic. Aha. Well, maybe, maybe the Chads can work something out, Mr. Cromwell. All right, and the last hit is Emmanuel Rodriguez for the Minnesota Twins. Chad B with that, another Chad. And there's Duke Snyder back there as well. There you go, gang. Um, I don't think there's an MLB playoff spot to randomize, but there is this Japanese player to randomize to somebody. Let's flip back to the team list right here. Let's gather everybody's names, 1 through 30, new dice, new list. See you, Michael. And we'll randomize that five, come on, 11 times? Too late in the night for 11 times. It needs to be like three times. So, uh, just for a single card. 10 and 11th and final time. Brian Crouch, you'll get that extra card. There you go, gang. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time for the select baseball break. Bye-bye.